Hello everyone. Myself Muhammad Ramiz and I welcome you all on behalf of Saraswat International Academy. My subject is social science and today we are going to learn the chapter number 16 of 10th standard that is economic liberalization and globalization. So students today our topic is sustainable development. Before start learning from the slide I will just give you some information about sustainable development. Sustainable development means to make a world better place for everyone and without destroying the needs of nature for the next generation. Your mainly focus will be about using the environment resource for current generation strategically and should protect the environment for future generation. Your environment includes air, water and land. and the different resources which we get from nature now you will think that how suddenly the chapter jump from the industrial policy and world trade organization to the topic of environment i will explain you the reason this, this idea of sustainable development grows in late 1980s by seeing the world social and environmental problems and this social and environmental problems are directly linked with industrialization at fast pace due to globalization now see the definition given in the slide sustainable development is the development which meets the need of present generation without compromising with the ability of future generations to meet their own needs it means that using the environmental resources for current generation judiciously and we should not use these resources so excessively that future generation will left with no option it means that we have to preserve the resources for the future generation and whatever resources we have currently we have to use that in a judicious way and we should not degrade the environment thus the idea of sustainable development developed because of extreme effects on nature near human habitation and man created cover that is environment Okay so we all know that world population increasing and for the need of living space humans are destroying the forest and even many industries are setting up nearby forest so that they can directly get the resources from the forest and they are also increasing the pollution of it by doing all this the environmental is get the environment is getting harm very badly the way and the speed with which present generation is developing it cannot be maintained the future there is a fear that luxuries which present generation is enjoying may not be there for the future generation okay now we all know that uh, how humans are doing development at the cost of environment and if this will continue on the future generation will not be able to see and enjoy the resources which are gifted to us by the nature now the second paragraph there is a tremendous decrease in natural resources due to economic development and their quality is also deteriorating so in this line it is said that natural resources are using we are using the natural resources very excessively and the quality of environment is going worse because of increasing of air water and land pollution by various means in this condition there is a need to change the idea of development idea of sustainable development is studied because of present development and effects of it on environment okay it is said that uh, we all know that development is necessary for all but the ideology of it should be changed humans have to do the development but not at the cost of environment we all need to preserve the we all need to preserve and protect the environment for future generation also so as we discuss now the development should be done but conservation of natural resources is also important so we will learn the following steps about conservation and preservation of natural resources the first point the renewable natural resources like cultivable farm forest water resources etc should be used in such a way that their quality is maintained and non renewable natural resources like coal petroleum minerals etc should be used judiciously in this point 
two things are discussed one is about natural or uh, renewable resources and second is about non renewable resources renewable resources are such resources which can be regenerated and reused for example you have seen that water resources forest resources as these resources can be regenerated it doesn't mean we have to use this excessively we have to use this resource in proper manner and we have to plan for using this resource strategically now in this point only the second thing is discuss about non renewable resources these resources are such we can, which we cannot regenerate easily It take years to regenerate this resource you can see the example of it mineral oil coal petroleum so this resources should be used very judiciously it means we have to use it it we have to use it only when it is necessary now the second point industrial location should be decided on this basis of lesser transportation cost a sincere attempt should be made to achieve eco friendly development so here it is said about that industrial location should be set up in near to the area from where they get raw resources needed for their production so the transportation cost will be less and fuel will be saved and the production techniques of the industries should be environment friendly it means that no pollution should be done and pollution control method should be used now the third point those resources which can be used in more than one way should be utilized in different ways such as different irrigation systems are utilized for more than one purpose example pr producing electricity flood control transportation etc okay so some resources are such which can be used more than once in different ways then we have to plan about using their resources strategically for example here given is in the slide is about irrigation that irrigation method can be used for flood control also and for electric electricity generation also fourth point natural resources should not be wasted control should be laid on unplanned disposable of industrial waste poisonous chemicals increasing slums etc so the resources which are in abundance currently then too we have not to, then too we don't have to waste this because in the near future the same resource can be go to like in scarcity for example water the planning should be done about dumping of industrial waste and also to solve the problems of increasing of slum areas fifth point stress should be laid on use of non conventional energy resources such as solar energy and wind energy so non conventional energy resources are never ending resources we should plan our ways to use this energy resources so now let's see the steps taken to protect the environment for the first time earth conference was organized in 1972 at stockholm in sweden so for the first time as by seeing the emerging issue as an global warming first time the earth conference was organized in 1972 to discuss regarding the problems emerging problems in environment there are there after from from time to time conventions and camp have have been organized for protection of environment at global level and after this uh, earth conference in 1972 time to time the meetings have been organized at the international level for solving the problem uh, of environmental issues in which it has been discussed to take the different steps for environmental protection india is also involved in the global efforts india is also one of the country who is taking participate who is participating in solving this problem environmental problem government is also making different efforts at national level indian government is taking the different initiative at national level also for preserving the and conserving the environment now we will see few examples of it the first point as you can see information about pollution condition of different cities of nation is presented so there is an authorized institute which gives us which gives us information about pollution done by different cities more pollution is done in metro cities where the population is more and the cities which are industrialized 
Second point, the central and state pollution control boards have been set up, established to control pollution. So at central level, guidelines, central board will give the guidelines and that will be followed by the whole of the country. And at the state level also, the state board has been established which will give the norms and conditions regarding this environmental issues and the particular state have to follow it. Third point, 5th June has been declared as Environment Day in the world. Okay, World Environment Day is celebrated every year on 5th June. We all know that. It promotes way to improve the earth environment such as conserving forest. Now the fourth point. An Indian government passed Air Pollution Control Act in the year 1981. Air Pollution Control Act also was passed and Water Pollution Control Act is also passed. We'll discuss both of them. So Water Pollution Control Act was formed in the year 1974. And this act was formed for the prevention and control of water pollution and maintaining the quality of water. An Air Pollution Control Act was formed in the year 1981. This act was formed to provide prevention and control of air pollution through various management guidelines and restrictions. Fifth point, international agreements have been signed for deteriorating level of ozone, disposal of nuclear waste and maintenance of biodiversity. Thus, conservation of environment is everyone's responsibility. It is not the responsibility of some particular NGO or of government. It is the responsibility of each and every citizen to give their contribution for, for the protection of environment. If we do not control pollution, no doubt the life on the earth will be doomed soon. It means that if we will not take the steps to control the pollution, then the life on the earth will be doomed soon means that negative outcome will be there. The environmental issues will be there. The emergency, the emergency in global, ish, global warming will be there. There is no, there will be no good quality of life. Here the doom soon means negative outcome will be there. So it is the responsibility of each and everyone to give their contribution regard uh, for the protection of environment. Development should be done, but not at the cost of environment. So here we complete this chapter. We will discuss the one line question answers and mcq in the next slide and pdf will be sent to you all for the detailed question answers of this chapter goodbye stay safe thanks see the question four of the exercise that is multiple choice question the first question you can see where is the headquarter of world trade organization the answer of this question is option b Geneva. Now the second question. When was Earth Conference organized to bring awareness about environment? So the answer of this question is option A in the year 1972. The third question. When is the World Environment Day being celebrated? The answer of this question is option C, 5th June. Fourth question. The process of connecting the economy of the country with world economy is dash. The answer of this question is option B, globalization. Now we will discuss the short question, question number 3. In that first you can see, explain the concept of globalization. The answer of this uh, question is that connecting our economy, our economy means Indian economy with the world economy is globalization. This is one line answers. Now the second question is when did economic reform start in India? The answer is in the year 1991. Third question, when was the World Trade Organization established? The answer is 1st January 1995. Fourth question, explain the concept of sustainable development. So as we have discussed this in this slide only, in this session only, that sustainable development is about the development should be done, but not at the cost of the environment. We should preserve the environment for the future generation also.